Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'd like to show how to set up the Micmac Photogrammetry Suite uh, under Windows. I am under the Micmac Wiki. I go down here to the installation path or page. I'm installing for Windows. I come down and install Micmac on Windows. And we just scroll down a little bit. And from Windows, you just need to download the binaries and use them. So I use this link right here, get to the GitHub page for the releases. And here it is, Micmac Win Zip. Just click on that to download. I've already done that. I have it down here. I'm going to take the zip file and open it up, extract it. A few more seconds. All right, and done. Now the next step is to when I go up, take this folder, I'm going to copy it to a location that doesn't have any spaces in the path. I have one set up under C programs. I'm going to copy that and come down to programs and paste it in here. Okay, now that we got that in place, uh, the next step is to set up the paths and the environment variables. For that, we come down to the lower left and right click on the Windows icon and head on up to system. And from here, we go to the right over to advanced system settings. And, and we have a little pop up here, come down to environment variables. Okay, we want to set the user variables at the top. So what we do is come down, we want to set the path. So I select the path and choose edit. And now that we're in here, we just need to press the browse button. Come over to where I saved the Micmac binaries under programs. And there's a Micmac Win that I just downloaded and extracted. I'm going to choose the bin folder and choose OK. And here it is at the top. I press OK, OK, and OK to get rid of that. And you can close the settings as well. Now on the uh, GitHub pages, uh, right now that's all set up to go. Let's give it a little try. I'll do a command prompt and type mm3d and the fact that it ran that shows that it's working. Now I'll do the next step in the installation which is to check the dependencies which isn't probably really needed for Windows since all the dependencies are included in the zip file. But I'll run the command anyways, like Mac3D check dependencies. Run that, and it shows that everything was found. Just make the exif tool and so on. I'm going to close that down. And that's it for the installation. On the GitHub page, they have an extra step. So I'm going to go back here, go to the Micmac. Uh, section here. And we scroll down here, and we have their instructions for the uh, installation. I'm going to ignore all that, come on down to installation test. And they say to go to this uh, website to get this data set, the Boda data set. And so I just click on that link. Actually, I'm going to open that in a new tab, right click, open link in new tab, and it's in French. If you were to go to this with uh, Chrome or the uh, 
a newer explorer, whatever it's called, Edge, then it can translate to whatever language you like. But I know the link is down here at the bottom, down over here, the one that ends in data. I'm just going to go ahead and click that. And that'll show this. And right here near the bottom is the Buddha data set too, which you want to download. I've already done that. It's on my desktop, so I'm going to just go over there. My Micmac downloads. Now the Buddha data set. I'm going to open that up and extract that. I'm going to put it into the same place as the Micmac. Let's see, that was programs. Oops, I'm in the wrong place. Put it in programs. And the instructions, they expect it to be in the same, uh, within the same folder as Micmac. So I'm going to call it Boda, as they have. Everybody at just programs, and I think it'll put it in Boda. Let's see. No, it won't. I'm just going to type it out. Okay, and I didn't want it like that, so I'm going to make a little change. Just change that name so it won't give me any trouble. I'm going to cut that to get out here, paste. Get rid of that junk one. Okay, finally there. The point was to get it to the same folder as where the Micmac win was extracted, because that's where the instructions expected to be for testing. Okay, I'm gonna shift right click this folder and open the PowerShell window. Okay, back in instructions on the GitHub page. They have down here as an example of how to run it. I'm going to copy that. Put it in here and make a couple of changes. One thing it expects a shell script, but this is Windows, so it runs a batch. And the folder name is micmac underscore win. And that should do it, except for the command. Oh, no, that's it. We just run that. And if this runs, that shows that it was installed properly. OK, it seems to be running. This is going to take about uh, eight or nine minutes. So we'll stop the video at this point and show the result at the end. And it's done. All right, to see the result, I'm using a separate program that I downloaded called uh, MeshLab. See if I can get to that page from here. So I downloaded it from here, and it's already installed on my system. I'm going to get everything out of the way. I'm going to start up MeshLab and then take a look at the result. Okay. We want to import a mesh. Go to C programs, Buddha, and it's in this Mech 6 folder. And here's the three files generated. I'm select them all and open.
And there's a the result. It's looking good. I'm going to turn off the shading on all of them, make it more clear. There's a point cloud. Each one of them is about, it's like about 500,000 points. So it looks like uh, maybe about a million, 400,000 points making up this cloud. That's a nice little result. And that's, ah, one more thing I wanted to mention. Just in case, there's one more step of the installation that might be necessary. I, it wasn't necessary for me, but if I go back to the GitHub pages, they mention right here, additional notes for Windows, that it might need the Visual C++ 2005 runtime and that framework 2.0. So if it doesn't work, you could try loading these in and see if it makes a difference. And that concludes the video. Thanks for listening.